Hey guys, this is the Joe of Python, and I know the background noise is awful. My internet guy's here, we've got dogs going crazy. But this is my... I'm just realizing this is actually a 4x5 door. But that's fine. This is the only... If I ever... I hate building on, um... Even, so if I ever did a 4x4 door, it would be something like this. Or a sand door or something. But this is EJ Monkey's slime 4x4 door. Use slime blocks to increase a 4x4 door's efficiency. Let's see if I can make an actual 4x4 door. Okay, so now we break that one, and that one, and that one. That one become blocks, not pistons. And we get dust here. Okay. I think that this will still work. Except for that one, which it didn't work. That ought to make a D. So, let's go into the redstone. It's not compact or anything. Sorry for the dog. Uh, goes into the monostable circuit. To a T flip flop, the signal of which is inverted here, and sent up this line of slime blocks to a redstone block up here, and that's the slime block efficiency. You saw the wiring up there, it also goes here, extends these two, or retracts these two two ticks later, or depending on your, or earlier, depending on your perspective. Yeah, I'm sorry, I've had a really busy time, as well as haven't had the greatest last few days, and I don't want to associate uh, stuff that's fun like this, Talk to Studio C, with my being sad, because then I'll stop watching it, stop playing it, and then you don't get videos. I've been working on some other stuff, but for now, now, let me just point out, I suck at building even, for example, all the things I've asked EJ for help with. The 2x2 two two spiral door. A 2x3, admittedly, floor waterproof door. And a 4x, I believe it was 5, might have been 6. Uh, do no evil. Uh, wall. It's not a door. It's a cool wall thing. I've only actually built the door the store in survival yet. This I haven't updated. This I don't have a place for. But that's what I've got for you, EJ. I know it's nowhere near at, to the level of what I normally try and build with. Even though I normally don't make stuff compact, I just get the concept out there. Uh, it's not uh, like when I gave you challenges, you met them exactly. You didn't take any cheats or anything. I hate the slime block piston mechanics, how they push every block they, they're attached to. But let me show you some of what I attempt to do. Sorry, moving my computer and stuff. Uh, I attempted to do something like this, where it had two sides that were pushed across. This one, this one, this one, this way simultaneously. But I couldn't get them to go in. So it would have been a one-time use door, and why would you build that? Similarly, I tried to have something like this, but that wouldn't work. This wouldn't work, because double piston extenders only got you a 2x4 door. However, it was pretty cool. Uh, this didn't work. This was a cool principle where... Um, then this... It would pull it down, but then you didn't have a floor. And you're left with that issue. You fall down and then are on slime blocks. This uses slime blocks. Uh, is ender pearl proof, actually. Uh, you can use any kind of fence, and I think fence gates. I haven't tested that. Let's do that. Uh, and it'd still be travel proof if it's fence gate. 
and the fences and fence gates being able to be used allows for a lot of block texture as long as one of them is another brick. Uh, no. Still seals it shut. I know cobble fence doesn't work. Man. So EJ, I broke like all of the rules that you proposed. You know, that's fine. And sometimes uh, the slimes go unrendered. This is cool. I would expect Zisto to use this on his Minecraft house. After all, it's made of fences. Yeah, when I when Season 5 map comes out, I'm like going into MC Edit and deleting his house. It's... And most things he builds, they're super lag inducing. But this, I might actually build in my world. So, EJ, tell me how I did, and if you're just gonna post another challenge for me, or if I get one. I think you should give me another one, because I kind of cheated on this. Or honestly, this is how I would do it if I built it. I do have a challenge that I, you know, I'll figure the next thing out. Anyway, I gotta go. So, tell me if it's my turn or still yours. I think it's still yours. And I will see you then.